Lower it down. Hey guys, it's just somebody not that attractive. Why do you wear a mask inside the car? You dumb. Why, why are you talking about yourself like okay, that? You're okay. very pretty, girl. <laughs> You're so pretty for showing up today like this, huh? <laughs> she finally got it. So when we like talk and someone hears us, they're like, that is so rude. That's backhanded compliments. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. So you're meeting me today. Yeah, so? To play this in your no. car. Are we going no. home? Let's just go home and play it. Really? So guys, this is a Sharma place that we come here. Like Nobody we, cares. You're the one who brought me to this place, so you do care. Nobody wants to know. Nobody cares. No, they do. I have to talk about something so important. <laughs> it's gonna kill you. Don't listen to me. Okay, okay, tell me. Somebody fucking followed me. Followed my fucking car. Now? No, not now. But yeah. it's because I come here and then we keep like. Remember the one of the videos where yeah, like. Yeah, and I love the shower like, mug. Yeah, one girl like DM me and she's like, I come here every day hoping that you, you show up. And I'm like, ah, fuck what? Okay, you need to turn the AC. It is on. Wait, what are you saying? Bro? Yeah, Let's I freak out. Up. Because one of them was like a Lexus, a red Lexus. A group of weird kids. I just want to say, you know, the thing is that lady told me this before. She's like, getting this car is going to be a pain in the ass because people can like easily, easily know figure out. Yeah. It's fucking you because no one has this car. And yeah. I'm not trying to say like, no one has this car. It's so expensive. <laughs> it's like, it's a shitty car. No one gets it. It's such an old model. So, so funny. And I'm not trying to like humble brag like, no one has this car, babe. No one has this car. Yeah, no touch one. my hair. I'm going to pull this. <laughs> Polly pockets out. <laughs> Polly pockets. It's fine. I'm not trying to like humble brag, but this car is so shitty. Like I think Britney Spears had it. <laughs> and also it has like a red top. <laughs> I'm giving every details out. It has four engines and six brakes. No, but like it's like a limited ed car with the red rooftop, so anybody can like easily, easily figure know. out. Yeah, it's you for sure. Especially in Dubai, dude. Yeah, it's such a small city. Do you know I saw this tweet? Some girls like in I like the world. <laughs> world, world <laughs> then you might want to get a tan. I'm just saying. Dubai is such a small city. Like we meet somebody one day or the other, right? Yeah, like you always bump into someone or the other. Remember last time we went out to eat? Yeah. So, so, saw some my mutual friends. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Hello, pickles, madam. Pickles, pickles. The thing is that we meet somebody every day. Like Dubai is literally a dot on the map. And every time I step out and see somebody I've gone to school with, somebody I love, somebody it's I hate. It's embarrassing. Honestly, yeah, it's, it's embarrassing. so embarrassing. Dubai mall. Dubai Mall, DCC, Dera City Center, MOE, Mall of the Emirates, Ibn Battuta. These are like your top five malls. You run no. into somebody you know Always and you don't want to see yeah, them. Yeah, for sure. There was a time I got recognized with my fucking mask on. Bitch, how do you know this is me? <laughs> Tell me, I want to talk to all of you. Because you're ugly. <laughs> Who followed you? So I was actually parked in this uh, street to get my podcast equipment. People complained about how it was so noisy, so I had to replace that. I went to the street and I you know, parked my car. And then there was this guy. This guy was so like sketchy. Um, he comes to me, he's like, this is your car. I was like, fuck. And I had a mask on. I looked very crusty with, you know, bun and oily face. I had my skincare on. And then he was like, oh my God, you're, are you that YouTuber? And I was like, no. It's like, you're antsy. And I'm like, maybe. And then he's like, oh my God, this is because I saw the car video. Is this your, like, it's you, right? Like, you live here? And I was like, do I actually live like 10 minutes from that place? But I, I didn't want to tell him. So yeah. I was just like, no, I no, I actually came from really far, far, far away. Like, I live in Abu Dhabi, like, behind the deserts. And then um, he was like, oh my God, can I take a picture with you? And what? I was like, I don't think I'm comfortable. Like, like my car is here. I'm here. And, like, this is, like, my area, kind of. So I don't want to, like, come here again and take a picture and everything. And he's like, no, it'll be a really quick picture. And I was like, no, I, I really don't. And then I got into my car. I never say no to pictures, bro. Yeah, I know. Like, I really down like I don't care how, how ugly I look like I'll take a picture no matter what but bro, it was like my car my street my plate number is like visible for everybody then and I started driving away and got following me bro no way mm. that's fucked up bro mm. you guys please don't do that I will literally piss my pants yeah being the paranoia queen that you are <laughs> I'm all like, hey guys, come and meet me. Let's hang out. Let's make out. But when it actually happens, I'm like so freaked out. And I don't think he was an actual fan. I'm not saying straight boys don't watch me, but most of them don't. It's always been girls, gays, gals. Trust me, they do. But not straight dudes. Dude, straight dudes with girlfriends watch you because their girlfriends like put them to it. You know what I'm saying? So one of my friends from college, he messaged me and he sent me your one of your vlogs. And he's like, no way, no way, this is your friend. And then he's like, my girlfriend was making me watch her. And then he's like, she's so. This dude did not look like he had a girlfriend. He did look like he had a body in the trunk so i gotta yeet out of there and he kept following me how do i trick him bitch my car is like there <laughs> yeah i don't have a fucking reno like the one that i had before the crusty dusty car my dad got me for uni i could just blend in with a truck and yeah. you wouldn't even find me like it's so it's such a normal looking car but this shit has two seats four engine and six turbo maroon, maroon from outside gray from leather <laughs> leather seats 
but I'm just saying please like I will literally piss my pants I feel like when people meet me they think that I'm gonna be all like oh no 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 guys oh, this is fucking stop this is too much oh my god this is gonna this is gonna be the last one oh. oh my god how did you find me <laughs> we should show people how you should approach someone so Ansi doesn't piss her pants out and her panties how would you approach me oh my god are you Ansi I'm so sorry I don't mean to freak you out but can I just have a quick picture with you? No, fuck You're off. You're fucking ugly. <laughs> I'd be like, oh my Baba, god, this is you? Are you the one with like, this is what you look like? I thought you'd be much taller. <laughs> Imagine that's someone, that's my biggest fear. Dude, you and tell this me bitch did one girl. She, she was one of my friend's <laughs> girlfriend. And she sees me for the first time and she looks at me like, like from the head to toe. And she's yeah. like, oh, that's all. You look much taller in picture. <laughs> I don't want anyone to literally say, you look nothing like your face doing pictures. I mean, it's embarrassing, so. No, dude, but you know what? Your makeup looks really good in real life. Did I well. ask? Oh, exactly. I, I saw a comment on one of my podcasts. I think they don't like each other because the way they talk. And I'm like, yeah, you I know, saw that one. I saw that one. And I'm like, you know, they I secretly edit. don't like each other. Yeah, they yeah. secretly, <laughs> like, it's a big, babe, I edit this video when I put it on my platform. Like, <laughs> it's a secret, but I don't like you. Yeah. You look so good today. I, I wouldn't come out of the house if I looked like you, but. You wait. still do. <laughs> You're so confident. <laughs> oh like, God. imagine looking like that and still having the confidence to drive a car. I hate you. Oh my God, you just gave me a very good idea. What? I think if somebody tries to come and, like, Eat my head off. She just dressed up like a dude with a mustache, like a fake bit, but like, bro. Yeah, your big fat booty is not gonna let that work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now my booty is big. A few days back, you told me I was flat. You are, you're still flat. That was just to boost you up. From all the boys that I've dated, ugh, they just love me and my perfect. Nobody skinny loves you. Body. I know you want your ex back. <laughs> <laughs> dude, there's a chair that he's watching this, and he might literally text me. We need to stop making those jokes. Because I swear to fucking God, if he DMs me, I will literally pass out. Like, I, we should hey, talk Yancy. about that. We should talk Hope about it. Well. I watch your vlogs and I know you miss me too. Talking about how no one can figure out my Vino car, crazy ex, I parked my car in the middle of nowhere in uni and I told him, do not follow me, do not look for me, like it's over and he didn't want to let go. He found my car in the middle of nowhere and we have like 6,000 fucking cars parked in the parking lot in my uni. How did he find my shitty Nissan Reno? Go. Exactly, bitch, there's no fucking answer. I don't know how he found my car. So we need to start making those jokes. Dude, the thing is, because he personally knows me, he knows like, you know how a relationship is. Guys, we're at Lupo's house. Oh, what is it? The right? You look like Kristen Stewart before she got the. She was dying for his day. Yeah, I, I only realized that after uh, I watched Twilight as an adult. I'm like, dude, she just wanted to bang, right? She just wanted to bang. She just wanted to bang. Why did they break up in real life? You know she like, cheated on him with like a film director. I think it's Snowman and The Huntsman. I know. She cheated on Edward. <laughs> this loud? This terrible? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna beat her up. Shock your Does your character have a hat on? No. Okay, you can ask me. Is your character a girl? No. Um, is your character ugly as fuck? Yes. No. Does your. It is pretty ugly. So we played the game completely wrong. I just scratched this whole footage, but it was so much fun. <laughs> so I just came back, it's 2 a.m. I'm a little tired, so sick, but I got my big old package from Etsy that I've just shoved it down into a beauty bay box, but I purchased a bunch of crystals off Etsy, like, because I've heard Etsy sells a lot of fake crystals, but I have a friend uh, who was kind enough to gather all of the crystals, all of the shipping orders and into one box and ship it to me here, because if I were to ship it one by one from each store, I would have spent over, for sure, like six dollars in total with shipping and the products i think i spent like 300 dollars, which is not bad because i purchased a lot of crystals from small small little tiny etsy shop owners so i feel like it's a steal today's full moon so i think it's my luck that i received this box full of crystals right on the full moon and we're just talking about manifestations and the full moon and the power the full moon holds and it's the best time to manifest anything you want and also anything you want to get rid of first of all i got really cool bronzers from beauty bay thank you so much for sending me pr but okay let me open up Ooh, I love these cute little packages. This is the most prettiest rose quartz 
necklace ever look at that i think the life that i live right now is because of a law of attraction i think i attracted what i wanted but this little guy is rose quartz for you so if you're an aquarius if you're born in the month of jan and i think feb too your birthstone is amethyst i got this big old guy this is another rose quartz look at that Look at how beautiful this rock is. Since it's my birthstone, I thought of getting one, keeping it near my bed stand. It's so beautiful. Holy shit, look at that. And I got real quartz. I'm sorry, I don't have the names and their benefits right off my head. I'm really new to this, I'm still learning, but you might get one of these. And this is my favorite crystal of them all. It's my beautiful bunny who's fully healed. I love you. You're my favorite crystal. I wish I could charge you up every full moon. Hey, don't chew on my crystal, please. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it up. Ooh, you guys didn't see this. I have two more here. See, I bought these off like Dubai stores. I don't want to be a dickhead, but they're so expensive here, so I just picked stuff from the US. And this is a little ball citrine, and I think this is black tourmaline. The next we have. I hate this color against my skin. It's not my favorite. It's like a bright yellow gold, which is not my favorite, but also look at that ring. This is rose quartz, but I'm gonna put the name on the screen in case you're interested. This is a very, very cool pendulum. It has the seven colors, like the chakra. I also got the raw form amethyst. It's very pretty. This is another type. This is citrine in a necklace form. This is black tourmaline for sure. This is to catch any negative energy and to get you to be more creative. Self love, very important. Still, citrine, beautiful. Wow, this is crazy. You can find it's so shiny. See that it's like a book with a little stone in the center. It's amethyst. It opens up like a book like that, and then you shut it down. It's a heart locket for. It's a whole flower. It's like a clove. Look at that. You can find a lot of vintage stuff on Etsy if you're into stuff like that. Okay, anyway, so that's my crystal collection. I just want to quickly show you. That's all the stuff that I got off Etsy. It's the best place to get crystals. Make sure they're authentic. Read reviews and pictures before you make your purchase. So it's the next day. I'm going to show you guys my favorite lunch that I made. I used some spring onion, some ricotta cheese, some thyme, garlic paste, mayo, sour cream pastry sheet, of course, and spinach feta cheese and you chop up some spinach some thyme cheese chase your bunny put your bunny in if you want you can mix everything in add in some oil you want to crack in some eggs you want to mix it up and i made this greek sauce uh it's so good from tiktok um and then after that i just baked it okay guys so today i want to do a quick um spoil myself haul it's like the worst haul to do in the middle of a pandemic there are some things i'm like oh my god this is gonna fucking nine me on the training page but um i just spent shopping a few days back and it's just for myself. I never shop for myself. So I went shopping last Monday and I got a lot of stuff. A lot of stupid stuff. I want to show you what I got. And I personally feel like it's the best time to shop because there's sales everywhere. This is a shopaholic dream come true. I'll show you some of the things that I got. So first, I want to start going to the gym. I don't know when that's going to happen, but I really want to start doing that. My body is very much shaped of a male who's in grade 5 playing GTA with his friends. Okay, it's pretty much like a fucking fridge. Pretty much flat front and back why would you want to go to the gym as you why you're, you're skinny and perfect and amazing and just really fucking hot and great body and everything thank you i really appreciate that but i'm very weak very 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 weak to the point that i do struggle a little bit with opening cans and like bottles and whatnot so i want to strengthen my core this is a newbie thing i got a fucking yoga mat <laughs> i've never touched a yoga mat so weird and fascinating i got this little tiny fresh soy face cleanser then i went to h and M, H stands for horses and mouses. It's a very, very cute earring set. Got pearls. Then I went to NYX Cosmetics. Oh my god, this is my favorite. Favorite section for NYX has to be their lip size. Their lip glosses, lipsticks, lip liners. I'm horny. Let's see those. Um, I picked up some liners and glosses. And there's this beautiful gloss that I got. It's called uh, Bit of Honey. This is so good. Let me put some on. It's the perfect dusty pink if you're my color love it i remember in la i was like i want to get this and she told me it's out of stock i got it we just fluff it up a little bit see that's what it looks like perfect brush for your blush i got a shade that's just like really oh god i just put it on the gloss jesus christ people have been using brown liners for a more soft effect slide on glide on, on, glide on, on stay, stay on, on definitely, definitely a turn, turn on, on water bottle extreme shine eyeliner. eyeliner i'm not even kidding that's the sh that's the whole name i think it's a new product can't believe that's what it's called why can't i open this See, so I'm talking about I have no strength. I look, there's no wrapper. Why, <clears throat> bro? I'm literally chewing on it. Why is it not turning? Turning on. <laughs> Why is it not sliding out? Ooh, and it's more cool tone versus the other two. I also got this bag for free. 
This is so tacky, something I would never wear. From Virgin, I always have to go here. So sluts are not allowed inside. Sorry to burst half of your bubbles. Half of your bubbles just pop. I'm a sucker for egg poachers. And this is what it looks like. These are microwavable, which is really cool. So I wanna test and see for myself. Then I went to the store pink. So I got this super adorable soft ass dusty pink shorts for my Jimmy Jim. They had more variety than the ones in Victoria's Secret. So I got a very cute red cami top. Look at that. Black waist back. Gray waist back. The turquoise uh, waist back. And this could be a bra apparently or whatever you want it to be. You could wear it in the gym too. I've seen this on TikTok a lot. Oh my god, I'm super excited for this. It's uh, been a long minute. That's what it looks like. And I got this game called Insider. It's such a cool game. Then lastly, I went to Zara and I picked up. You put it on like that. So I got two tops that look like that. And then I also got skipping ropes. I've heard this is the easiest way to lose weight. But yeah, that's the finished spoiling myself vlog. I had such a good time. I bought stuff for myself. I also went to my favorite restaurant in Dubai. It's called Fada. I basically went on a date with myself. My favorite items on their menu. And even the guy was like, you're not going to finish all of this. I was like, yeah. He packed the rest for me. Such a good time. And I just want to remind you, you might want to spoil yourself sometime. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.